nice smell in here, eh? I don't know. Why did we choose this one? I don't know. We got we we got an accepted offer on this one. I want to knock this out. I also have two little girls, and they're going to be running around the renovation with me. So my mom and my dad are going to be helping out with the flip. Voila, I'm the main painter. So I'm thinking fully knock this out. We call dad demo dad, and uh, you're gonna see why. From tacky to timeless, this is 239 Taranaki. It'll just be like, done. Hey, my name is Danika Coakley, and I am a general contractor. I took carpentry six years ago, but I've always been in love with it. And I took the furniture route for a little bit while flipping my own home, then realized that is exactly where I wanted my career to go, is I no longer wanted to do the furniture pieces. I wanted to take my love of properties and turn that into my career and start flipping homes. Uh, my name is Andrew Stevens, and I'm a realtor with Exa Realty Metro. So I sell real estate in the Halifax Dartmouth area in Nova Scotia. I've been doing it for about six years now, but really I've been around it my whole entire life. My father is a longtime realtor. He's been a licensed realtor since I was three years old. So when I was a kid, I used to run around with him a lot in the car from appointment to appointment. I've definitely been around it a really long time other than just the six years I've been licensed. What's up? I'm so excited! Yes, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. So good. Still looks as gross as uh, when we first found it. Can't wait to get this. Not again. <laughs> that happened last time. It is happening again. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go through the window? I mean, it's fine now. <laughs> You're loud. Yeah, I can go through the window. <laughs> Why not? Uh, get yourself a realtor that goes over the edge here. <laughs> I got it. Um, I was really relying on Andrew to help me find the right home because I don't really know the market that well for resale. I know when a house itself looks like it needs work and can be done really well, but as for like areas and schools, I mean, this is my neighborhood, so I know it's a good one, but I was really putting my trust in him to show me the properties that at the other end are gonna make me some money. <laughs> nice smell in here, eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, real good smell, I love it. Mirrors, staying, keeping the mirrors? So one thing that uh, me and Anika have had uh, endless conversations about is kind of just not overdoing it. So when you're doing a flip in a subdivision like this, obviously the price points are really kind of standard across the board. And based on what she wants to do to the house and what it will sell for on the other end, um, you kind of, there's a cap there, there's a range there that you want to stay within to make it um, so that the house still fits the area and that you're not overdoing it. Big plan here. What is the plan overall? Obviously the floor has got to go. Floor's gone. I want to knock this out and I'm thinking when I get in the attic, hoping that it's engineered trusses. Yeah. If not, I will put a beam in. Like yeah, my absolutely. House? I think uh, with the age of this home, it's very likely engineered trusses, which is good, which means you can just knock that all out, um, ideally. This too, like I want, the, I want the whole space, like I want someone to walk up and everything is one, okay. one whole space. Yeah. I'm just really crossing my fingers that there's no, <laughs> that, the, that it's engineered. I'm a little nervous about tearing out the walls and what we might find behind them. You never know, you're always taking a risk when you go into homes. And I'm really trying to keep this one as surface as possible. Taking down a couple of walls, get the feel of running my first flip for a couple of months and then I would like to get into like, I'd like to get into the more in depth flips where there are structural issues and things like that later on. But I'm really hoping that this one is not too crazy. What about patio door, deck? Ooh, deck. <laughs> this deck is, it's a built-in trampoline. Yeah, it's <laughs> I'm surprised little, I'm not going to It's run. looking a little soft. Like with this guy? <laughs> it's a feature, maybe I could just keep him here and like build him into the new eye. We can market it as you have a jungle in your backyard. It's a good area. Um, overall, this, 
I don't know. Why did we choose this one? I don't know. We got, we, we got an accepted offer on this one. Yeah, because we tried three other ones and it didn't work out. And then this obviously is gone too. It's, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> we're keeping the mirrors. Keeping the mirrors? Yeah, I love the mirrors. The mirrors are, uh, oh. the mirrors are interesting to say the least. They're going to be fun to Great. smash. Yeah. So excited to smash that mirror wall. I don't know who's more excited, me or the kids. A great feature, really, really great feature. <laughs> the kitchen, um, floor's gone. Yeah. I want the floor to be the exact same throughout the whole top floor. Yeah, I like that, especially where you're gonna open it up, it'll make a big difference for it to flow right through the whole main floor. Yeah, and I really want, I think I don't think this bulkhead is needed. I feel like it's just, yeah. that's how they built kitchens yeah. 40 years ago, I don't know why. <laughs> Can I keep this? Disco light? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And what about lighting? Are you gonna keep the lighting where it's at? Or are you gonna do like feature lights here and then some pot lights? Or what are you thinking to tie it all together? I would like the idea of maybe running a couple of pot lights in the living room. Yeah. But I want to keep a feature light over the dining space. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Even in the kitchen too, I like that idea. Maybe do like four pot lights around it. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the dining room, maybe four or four and then another two or four in the- And this one be like a bit more of a drop down and this one yeah. be like semi flush. Yeah. Still be like a really unique feature, but not in your face. Yeah, absolutely. Then entrance, uh, what are you thinking down here? Are we gonna open this up? This is gone. This. I cannot wait to get this out of here. <laughs> It'll really open up the space a lot to get rid of that, especially if you do, um, you know, just a regular railing or like glass railing. Yeah, I want to do glass and I want to custom build the the full unit surrounding because I have a certain like chunky black style in mind yeah. that I haven't been able to find, so I want to build it. Okay. But then I thought that's great, but then I have this bulky closet here. Yeah. You think I can like afford to take that out homeowner wise because it's the closet? Yeah, I think so. But there's and one it, there. Yeah, I think so. So there's another closet right there. And again, I think with the target market in mind being the young family, young buyer, uh, maybe a couple, um, I think that if you do like a shelving unit in the entrance way, even just to put a few shoes in and like a hanger to hang a couple coats, that yeah. as long as they have enough to keep their stuff there for whatever season it's in, then it should be okay. Honestly, my house is like that and we don't really find Yeah, I don't have problem. a front entrance closet and we just bring it to the back. Yeah. I'll just redo these. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> <Redo these. They're laughs> And then how this is, I'm really excited, oh, the cobwebs are staying. I <laughs> have to stay with the light. Um, the bump out there, I want that to be, I want everything to be white, but I want that to be a feature. Okay. Like a wood paneling, like a horizontal, yeah. slim, really modern wooden structure there. I like that. And you could do a really cool uh, light there too that like drops down quite a bit. That's like a really nice feature. Like, so when you first walk in, it's all open with this wall gone, uh, the yeah. feature, you know, the feature wall, and then you get the big light, which is kind of a statement piece. And so you walk in, it's really gonna wow the buyers. Uh, yeah, the buyers. I really don't wanna skimp on floor and lighting. Cause yeah. I feel like those are the two things that people are going to, like, I want that wow factor. Absolutely. Coming in and seeing the floor, the railing, and then like, wow, that's a beautiful piece up there. Right, this is the master, a little bit bigger, good size. A swing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even want to. I don't even want to know what that was for, to be honest with you. All right. This is gonna be a really nice room when it's done because it has a really big window. It's gonna overlook the newly landscaped backyard eventually. Same thing. You got the closet doors to the ceiling here, so you could do a cool feature there. Mm -hmm. But this is a good size room. You could probably squeeze a king size bed in here, if not a queen, for sure. Yeah. And. Uh, and do you think I should do a feature, like some sort of like simple feature wall? Yeah, I like that. I like either like a wood feature or even like a paint or a wallpaper feature, um, depending on like kind of what you decide for the rest of the style of the house. And once we kind of have an idea of what we want to do, then the, the question really becomes, you know, what's it going to be worth on the other end and what's worth doing and not doing in terms of making the most bang for your buck on the other end of the sale. This carpet is super squishy. It's three, three, three different types of carpet. <laughs> if I stand right here, I can see four different kinds of flooring. Actually, five different kinds of flooring. Oh, all man. Once, <laughs> the bathroom's not terrible. I just feel like it has no personality. Yeah, it's really bland, but it's in really good shape. So they obviously renovated this. Um, you know, the vanity is not great. The wall, the sticky part on the wall is a little bit uh, a little bit rough, but overall it's something you can work with. And I don't think it's a total gut job. I think you can salvage a lot of what's here. Maybe floor and cabinet gone. Yeah. And a new mirror. Lights. Yeah, exactly. Some floating shelves. Like I just want to give it personality of like, and then like some stage it with some fun colors and, and just make it pop. So we got two bedrooms up here. 
The floor is even better here. <laughs> this light doesn't even work. Yeah, the, oh baby. So this will just need floor, a closet update, and a light. Like this will be very easy. Are you still thinking all new windows throughout? I know we yeah. talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a necessity. These are pretty old. They're original windows. They're yeah. not in too bad a shape, but um, in terms of a totally renovated home, I think we need to. Uh, Lots of little friends. A lot of little friends. Yeah, we've got to get rid of some of the spiders going on in here. <laughs> the ceiling has got to go. It's nice though, the window here is new and that's the most expensive window in the house. So that's really nice. And I can fit through it. So that's nice too. And it goes without saying that we need a fresh coat of paint here all around. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Gone. So you're going to match new railing with, with that? Yes. I, I might do just spindles here. Like I might have glass, glass, yeah. black spindles. Yeah. And then the same uh, handrail here <laughs> will replace the sky. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I should tile this or... Yeah, I think the either like tile or a vinyl is a good idea. Um, yeah. Just like with the water coming in from people's boots and stuff in the winter time, especially with the weather that we get here, I think um, either the ceramic or the vinyl is great. It's really, really waterproof. So it's really good for entrances and it looks just like ceramic tile. Okay. Um, now it's really, really good quality. So you could do something like that. I really like the idea too of like a penny tile. I feel like I might be going like over what I should yeah, be yeah. doing with like a design <laughs> in it. Maybe like put 239 in it. I like it. I, I like think it. it'd be super cool. Yeah. I like that okay. idea. This is gone. This is a good try. <laughs> yeah, this is a good try at the Danica Coakley <laughs> wood feature wall, but not to the same extent that it has to be. No. Oh, we got there. Oh, and we have a phone. <laughs> Hello, Andrew, I need your help. I need your help. You think that phone's original from 40 years ago? Oh, I feel like it hasn't been cleaned for 40 years. So down here we talked about adding another bedroom, because we got two bedrooms up, one bedroom on the other side, which is already in there. Uh -huh. um, can we do something to make maybe another bedroom here and extend the rec room into here? And the basement has a really strange layout and there's a large room down there that can't be considered a family room or a bedroom. So I'm going to rip all of the walls down and reconfigure the space so that it works much better for a family. So I'm thinking fully knock this out. So when you walk down the stairs, you walk into like this being the living room. Yep. And then I envision a wall here, but in order to keep the light from the window, yep. I'm thinking like a double door. Yeah. It can be staged like as an office, also a fourth bedroom or a guest bedroom, yep. do a closet. Um, and it's already got the window, but that way then you can keep the doors open and that light will be brought into the living room. Yeah, absolutely. Don't trip. Yeah, so this is all dead <laughs> space back in here. There's a lot of junk left behind. There's one light there. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, so all this junk left behind. Uh, thanks to your lawyer for getting you the closing credit to get rid of it. They try, like... There's a, it's a big <laughs> mess. It's a lot of stuff going on in here. So back here, we got utilities. We got the other light, which I'll get for you. So we got utility back here, which will become your laundry room. And then this part here will just become basically part of the rec room. When close you come, this off. So you come down, yeah, so you close it off there. That's utility over there. And then you come through the door. Like when you come down the stairs, you're in the rec room already, which is basically yeah. this space. And then the bedroom, the fourth bedroom will be at the front. So then you'll have yeah. four bedrooms one bath up and then we're going to talk about the other bathroom over here around the corner right <laughs> it's quite crazy mm. <laughs> underneath our upstairs bath so i feel like it's not going to be a huge issue to plumb in yeah although it's concrete floor so we might need an electric toilet yeah we might need chop up the floor oh man there's no dead body in there anyway so that's a positive <laughs> Yeah, so concrete floor, it depends on where the clean out is under the stairs. Um, we might need a lift pump or a lift kit on the toilet to get everything pumping back toward the grade. <laughs> Don't hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we could do that to get everything back to grade. So we'll have to get in touch with the plumber and see yeah. what he thinks about that. But it wouldn't, it's a bit of more of a cost if we have to do that. But I think uh, the cost of, you know, adding the bathroom, even if it's a little bit extra, is gonna, it, it's worth it to add the bathroom and a flip to get the full two bathrooms. Um, especially where Should there's be, two bedrooms down here. Should it be a full bath? 
I would suggest full bath depending on what the budget is, um, but depending on what kind of lift pump you have to put in to get everything out to the street. If that has to happen, then we can kind of, well, let's talk about it once we get our budget from the plumber and we know what both options will cost and then we can kind of make a decision based okay. on that. But if you can get a full bath down here, it would be ideal because we have two bedrooms here, two bedrooms up. So this would be like the bathroom for guests or kids or whoever else is oh, living yeah. down here. And then okay. you have the bathroom upstairs for the main owners and, and the second bedroom. I like that it already has these. Yeah. I feel like it can really make a nice niche once it's um Yeah, absolutely. Up. It's a good space for a bathroom. Like you said, the plumbing's already here, the clean out's just on the other side of this wall here yeah. underneath the staircase, so it works out. Somebody tried well. to drywall it? Somebody tried to drywall, yeah. <laughs> Um, these floors have got to go. Yeah. Because I'm not sure. What Again, a, a valiant effort on the homeowner's part. I like the choice. I, I like the floor. Yeah. I just. Uh, it's very poorly done and it needs to go. Ooh, <laughs> feature wall. Speaking of feature walls, one. there you go. There's your feature wall for down here. So, yeah. Do you think I could just paint that or would you just fully take it off? I'd probably just take it off. You might be able to paint it. Um, you know what, if you paint it, it might end up looking a little bit like shiplap, which is in right now, but sure. it's hard to say how it come out. You could paint like a four foot section and see how it turns out. And then if yeah. nothing else, then you could rip it out after that if you need to. Oh, I can't wait to take this car this uh, floor up. Yeah. It, like makes contractors cringe when they see how bad floor oh, yeah. is laid. Yeah, like <laughs> it hurts me. Now what? <laughs> uh, I need to call in some demo help. <laughs> so my mom and my dad are going to be helping out with the flip. Um, my mom, like every renovation, is probably going to be running behind me, like cleaning up everything as I go. And my dad is going to be probably making more mess than I am. We call dad demo dad and uh, you're going to see why. I also have two little girls and they're going to be running around the renovation with me. They're, they're quite interested. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> um, they're quite interested in carpentry and getting their hands dirty as they've lived through a five-year renovation at home and they're always asking questions and asking if they can help. So I'm really excited to get this one started because it's, they're going to be able to see like the start to finish. So for demo I made it a lot easier because my dad's going to help. So major issues we're looking to avoid would be like any structural type problems, which you might see with an older house. So there's a big difference if you're looking at a house that's 100 years old versus one that's only, you know, 30 or 40 years old. Um, these ones are built very much the same um, within a subdivision. So you kind of know what to expect framing wise and some other stuff structurally behind the scenes. Um, so it's really just having your mind wrapped around a little bit better of what you're going to be looking at once you get the house gutted. Mine will literally be the door. Actually, yeah. no, this whole thing will be gone. Yeah. Uh, so initially we offered on this house, it was listed at 249,000. Um, which we thought was a little bit high based on the condition um, when I was looking at the comparable sales in the area. Um, so we offered on it actually and it didn't end up coming together. We kind of went back and forth a few times negotiating and we just couldn't nail down a price. They were, uh, the seller was being a little bit unrealistic in my opinion. Yeah, but a week after we walked away from it the first time, uh, this, the seller came back to us or the seller's agent reached out to me and kind of said that, hey, he's, he's willing to go a little bit lower now. So we put another offer on the table and she ended up buying it for 230000 um, you know, on the other end of things, once this is completed, I would expect it to be around the $280,000 range. But with the way the market is trending right now in Halifax, Dartmouth area, uh, I could see it going a lot higher than that. Uh, we went with a number of about $275,000 to be safe when we're running our numbers for the flip. Uh, but I think it'll sell a lot higher than that based on what the plans are. up in the market especially in a seller's market like we're in right now is not an easy task 
Uh, most times in the morning I'm checking the hot sheet from the night before and at night I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I'm not only looking for houses for potential clients that are looking, um, but also just to keep myself educated on what's been selling in the area. So I have been an agent for people um, doing flips before, um, but it wasn't their first flip. They've been doing it for years and years, so it's a little bit different um, dynamic this time with Tanika and it being her first flip. So I'm really looking forward um, to guiding her through the process, and I really can't wait to see the final product.